Hello, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly reading for August 22nd to the 28th. This is for Pisces Sun and Rising. And if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cultic cross spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity, get more specific with your reading. And the reason I do that is because I want it to feel like a personal reading rather than a general spread. Now, Pisces. If you're a subscriber, you know that I leave the astrological, the key dates in the description. There's a lot happening this week. I'm not even joking, almost every day, okay? The thing that I'm gonna focus on for you is the fact that today, Sunday, uh, is when, the uh, duh, I just had a brain fog thing. Uh, the sun goes into Virgo, so we're into uh, Virgo season, but also this weekend, Pisces, we have that new moon in Virgo. So what does that mean for you exactly? Well, Pisces, that is your seventh house. All right. So that means partnerships. We're going to see a lot of activity and new partnerships, whether it's love, whether it's career. Listen, a lot of activity. All right, we're gonna start seeing that. Uh, also, Pisces, listen, we know that if you saw my reading last week, that Mars went into Gemini, that's your uh, fourth house. And so, listen, a lot going on at home, okay? In your domestic sector, all right? Maybe with your partner, maybe with your actual home, maybe you're moving, maybe you're thinking of moving. Maybe you found out that your rent is going up uh, in crazy uh listen a lot of activity there too uh listen we're honestly lightning speed a lot of stuff happening this week so let's go ahead and get started with your reading for august 22nd to the 28th this is for pisces sun and rising now pisces like i said i do a traditional celtic cross spread it is what my clients prefer if you want to book a private reading with me you know where to find me secondly pisces i hope you're reading your um rising sign as well i listen i get a lot of questions about that and the analogy that i've made in the past is that uh astrology is like a jelly donut okay your sun sign is the jelly the dough on the outside you're rising, okay? And so it's really important, the two go together. When, uh, whenever I get a new client, I always do a general birth chart reading for them just because it's, everyone's unique. Everyone has a unique birth chart. It makes you who you are, all right? And so we don't, I can't read the birth chart off the rising. I mean, you can, but it doesn't make sense. You have to have the rising because we started at the rising. Um, so I'm not asking you to read your moon, your Venus, your whatever. Just read your rising because that will give you the full picture. Because Pisces, I have to ask you, how many times have you read your like horoscope or whatever or gotten like a tarot reading uh, for your sign and you're like, well, none of this applies to me. Well, it's because it's all happening in your rising. All right. So with that said, Pisces, uh, remember how in the beginning I said things are going to move fast for you, lightning speed, boom. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Now, let's get started. You got the king of wands. In your past, I love this. Things have been great for you. I am so proud of you. I call him the Steve Jobs of the tarot. I mean, he is the entrepreneur. Very inspiring. People looked up for him, to him. Steve Jobs didn't have to work for anybody else, all right? He worked his butt off to sit in that throne like the king of pentacles king of pentacles also one of my favorite kings he's so full of life so full of joy all right cares about everybody in his empire in his kingdom i love that all right very transformational energy too so a lot of pisces could have had a lot of like success a lot of movement in terms of their career there could have been someone that actually like really helped you out too to get to a point where you needed to get so very good for you now with that being said you pull the eight of wands in the heart of your spread. It is, listen, the, first of all, that's kind of like headline news of the week, all right? Your theme of the week. Now, here's the great news is that I do, what, 12 readings a week. I do a, for every month. I do uh, every sign. I do celebrity readings. I have my private clients. It's so rare to have the eight of wands in the heart of your spread. So I'm so happy for you. This is a card where you do not see a figure or person, a symbol. It's just eight wands zipping through the air. What does that mean? Things are going to move really fast for you now. Really, really fast. When I said light speed, I was not kidding. All right? 
light speed, all right? Uh, some of y'all may be traveling, too. Y'all know that? Did you know that? Pisces, some of y'all may be traveling, and I love that, all right? So here's the thing. You did get the Nine of uh, Cups in your um, challenge area, all right? Nine of Cups, we call him, like, the Prince Charming, the uh, Knight in Shining Armor, what have you. Very, like, romantic, right? Someone who is uh, very pursuant in terms of what he's passionate about. Came up in your challenge area, all right? So in order for things to go really fast and move really fast now, I need you to, uh, it's almost like there's a disconnect, okay? Uh, so Pisces, I want you to find that passion, all right? Find that passion, really connect with it, really just, um, I love y'all Pisces, all right? But this, this week, I want you to not only find that passion, but love yourself, okay? Love yourself a lot, all right? You're in a good place, okay? I want you to love yourself. I want you to love yourself. And I want you to love others around you, too. Um, I really want you to know that things will be working out, all right? Uh, we are going to get to your future in a second, but I do want to bring this up real quick. You did get the Three of Pentacles, all right, in your crown. So it looks like you are looking to work with other people, all right? And that's really good, all right? I think some of y'all are, are starting to come into this place where uh, maybe you have joined or you're thinking about maybe like, uh, relocating or maybe uh, work going back into an office, maybe getting a new job, maybe working in a, an environment with other people. In any case, the theme really is teamwork. All right. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right. Now think about like the self-determination theory. All right. Think about uh, even going back to humankind, like we always, uh, as you know, as cavemen, right? We traveled in packs, we ate in packs. There was never I was always we. So this is just a gentle reminder. And I love that your head's here, okay? We need to bring people in our life, all right? We need to pe bring people in our life to be successful. And I think that you know that, all right? And I think that you know that, especially because you did get the high priestess in the root of your spread. I love the high priestess. And this is uh, really interesting. She's come up in almost everybody's rating. So this is really good. A lot of people have, especially after that full moon in Aquarius. Well, that was really huge, right? That was really, 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 really huge. Especially for you because that was in your 12th house, Pisces. Okay? Your subconscious. All right? So you really got in touch with your intuitive side. I love that. And if you haven't yet, Pisces she's asking you to all right because when you be get when you get in touch with your intuitive side all right when you really get to know who you are when you spend that time like even meditating or whatever you need to do to you find that deeper wisdom okay and you're going to need it now because you did get the seven of swords now don't be afraid of this card. I already said, uh, I said that I leave all the astrological alignments in my uh, description. And we do have some opposition, especially on that new moon in Virgo. Mercury is opposing Neptune that day. So, A, please don't sign any contracts. All right? Don't sign any contracts near this weekend. But secondly, I call this the lying, cheating, stealing card. All right? Hey. Listen, someone could be doing something underhanded, all right? And uh, I'm getting the message, some Pisces already know this, all right? Just confront it, all right? There's, listen, when, think about the words lying, cheating, stealing, all right? They're negative words, all right? Now, here's the thing. We don't want to just push negativity to the side because it's just there. It's still there. We need to confront it, all right? To actually remove it, right? So, Pisces. Something may happen in the future where you find out someone's doing something underhanded and uh, we don't want them to get away with it. I don't think they will. I think that you are going to be able to confront them, uh, especially with like looking at the rest of your spread. Uh, you can see he's doing it in broad daylight as well. Hey, if this is you, Pisces, if you're trying to get away with something, all right, just confront your truth. Okay. That's a lot of sunlight, broad daylight, sunlight, all right? A lot of exposure, all right? So if you're doing something that is maybe a little underhanded or something like a shortcut, yeah, you're going to have to, it, you're going to have to make some moments of, of just coming to terms with it and coming to peace with it and facing the truth that you may be 
trying to skirt, okay? Because clarified, you got the hermit, all right? It's all about soul searching, right? So the uh, hermit, he's made a lot of achievements, climbed the top of the mountain. He's got his little lantern, but well, you can only see so far with lantern light, right? How do you see further than that? You go within, all right? You go within. That's where the light is. Do a little bit of soul searching. That's going to be in your future. And I love that for you. All right. Um, I, this is your, this is a lot of this is like personal development, but it's a lot of it is also, uh, you know, in terms of career, there's a lot of career stuff here. Now, Pisces, let's go ahead and get to your staff. Oh, Pisces, if you're uh, new, it would be great if you like and subscribe. It really does help my channel grow. Um, uh, I just started this YouTube in um, spring, so I'm starting to see how everything works and the algorithms and stuff, so it really does help me out if you like and subscribe and leave comments. And if you have no comment to leave, here's the thing. Do you like my new haircut? If you do, leave a smiley face. That's a comment, and it'll make me feel really good about myself. All right, thanks. Pisces, and if you're a subscriber, you know I love you so much, and I love Pisces, and I say it all the time, Pisces are my secret crush. Now, Pisces, listen, you have nothing to worry about, okay? If you have any doubt, you have nothing to worry about, and listen, you're good. Things are going to move really fast for you, all right? I want you to open up a little bit. I want you to spend some time uh, bringing people into your life. I want you to confront a little bit of truth that you may have to, uh, and if someone is doing something underhanded around you, which I don't think it is. I think it's you uh, that has to confront this. Listen, it's only going to be good for you. All right. Now, looking at your staff, when I say things are going to be great, things are going to be really great. This is actually going to be a really, 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 really great week for you. Okay. Now, you did get the 10 of Pentacles. A lot of activity on this card. You can see, come on. You can't even see one. Th There's so much happening here, right? It's like a Coachella concert. But first of all, okay, I'm going to point some things out to you. You can see that the pentacles are arranged in the tree of life. You can see that this is the 10. 10 is the end of the cycle, all right? This is a card of major prosperity, success. This is security, all right? You can see the old man who is the hermit made it, all right? And then the young couple and then by the dogs. Can you see there's that little child in the corner? So we're talking about three generations here, all right? We're talking about three generations at play. A lot of this is family related. A lot of this is legacy related. And this uh, pertains to you, all right, Pisces? Some of y'all may be thinking about this right now, and I have to just say, listen, you're good. This is the end of that cycle, all right? You're coming to the end of the cycle, and that's why I want you to confront any truth that you have to, because you want to go into this cycle, this next life chapter, feeling really good and confident and secure, all right? This is an absolutely amazing card. What's even better? You got the sun. Pisces, you got the sun in your external factors area. So let me just tell you real quickly, all right? The sun is not only one of the most powerful symbols in tarot, it's one of the most powerful symbols in the world, all right? You, me, our pets, the billions of people on this planet, we're all alive because of the sun. The sun has been worshiped by civilizations for thousands of years. That's how powerful the sun is. This is joy, abundance, everything going your way. You are completely protected, all right? You're fine. This is in your external factors area. The sun's coming through. Something is gonna come through for you in a big way. You are almost, listen, I like don't even know what to say because that I love that for you, all right? And so if you have been feeling any moments of distress or sadness or despair or grief or remorse, or even if you did something bad to someone or someone did something bad to you and it's keeping you up at night, listen, that's all going to come to an end, okay? That power of the sun is really powerful. Now, this came up in your external factors as well. And nine, fulfillment, right? This is, listen, nine, hang in there because you're so close. This is all coming to an end soon. Again, external factors, 10 is the end of the cycle. Now, one thing I want you to know, look. A lot of stress, a lot of burden, even burnout. But listen, at the end of the day, he's definitely not happy, all right? His hand, his face is buried in his hands, all right? So look at the comforter, all right? A lot of great astrological symbols. You see those roses. 
so there's a lot of comfort okay once you get past this you're going to be good so i don't want you to have any feelings of doubt i don't want you to have any feelings of grief i don't want you to have any of those feelings i think a lot of it is really going to have to do with this truth thing uh the seven of swords all right but remember you did get the sun i did not even get to the end yet but Look, you got the Eight of Swords. Now, this came up in a part of your spread where it's saying you don't want it. You, this is what you don't want, all right? I'm cool with that. Listen, Pisces, I don't want you to feel like you're trapped. I don't want you to feel like you're isolated. I don't want it, you to feel like you have, like, muddled clarity. I don't want you to feel like you're out of touch, all right? You don't want that either. This came up in a part of your spread where it's something that you don't want, okay? So, remember, if there's any truths you need to face do it all right if there's any soul searching you need to do do it all right listen love yourself all right i want you to love yourself i want you to love others um i want you to know that things are going to move really fast for you too but you don't want this all right so whatever you do this week remember the last thing that you want to do is feel like you have uh you're trapped mentally all right blockages all right this woman here she thinks that she built a uh uh fortress but in fact it's actually a prison so i don't want you to be a prisoner of your thoughts right now all right now lastly you got the star i love it hey look at that you got the sun you got the star this is your final outcome card pisces this is amazing this is huge all right this is all your hopes and dreams aligning for you now this is amazing all right this is your future all right everything is going to work out you're in a good place you're in a really good place in fact look at all those other little stars those are representative of our chakras all right this is all about alignment here all right this is ruled by aquarius okay so you can see the little water bearer here she is you can see the pictures of water um in the uh, collective the subconscious but also like in the land you see that she's making that it all grow around her right with all that wealth of knowledge listen at the end of the day it is just your hopes and dreams the stars aligning for you Pisces I love you so much buckle your seatbelt things are going to move fast but um, I want you to be open and I want you to be loving right now all right and you know i love you so much too all right you know i love you and pisces i will see you next week thanks so much for tuning in okay bye bye